In this lecture, we will be seeing another example of conversion of Moore machine to Mealy machine. So, this is the question that we have. The given Moore machine counts the occurrences of the sequence ABB in any input binary strings over AB. Convert it to its equivalent Mealy machine. So, we have already designed this Moore machine in one of our previous lectures where it was designed in such a way so as to count the occurrences of the sequence ABB. We want to count how many times does ABB occur in any input binary strings over AB. And our inputs are AB and our outputs are 0 and 1. So how did we design it? We designed it in such a way that whenever the sequence ABB is encountered, then we printed a 1. And in all other cases, we printed 0. And at the end, we counted how many number of 1's were there and that many number of the sequence ABB was encountered. That is how we designed it. So we have four states here, A, B, C and D. And then we see that we have the input A, B, B. And whenever you reach state D, we make sure that we have encountered the string A, B, B. And when you reach state D, you print a 1 because A, B, B was encountered. And in all the other cases, we printed 0. So, this is the Moore machine for that. Now, our task is to convert this to its equivalent Mealy machine. We have to design the Mealy machine for this in such a way that it will work the same, but it should be a Mealy machine. So, how can we do that? We already discussed in the previous lecture. In Mealy machine, the outputs are associated to the transition and not the states. So, let us try to associate these outputs here to the transitions. How do we do it? First, let's see this one. We have a transition B over here. B is going to the state A and what is the output associated to state A? It is 0. So, this B will be associated to 0. And then come to this transition A. This input A is going to state B. And what is the output associated to state B? It is also 0. So, this A will also have a 0. And come to this A. This A is also going to state B which has an output 0. So, this A will also give a 0. And come to this one. This B is going to this state C and the output associated to C is also 0. So, here also we get a 0. And come to this transition that is B. B is going to state D. And what is the output associated to D? It is 1. So, this B will have output 1 associated to it. And come to this one. This A is going to state B which has an output 0. So, we'll give 0 to this A and this A is going to be again with output 0. So, this A will also have a 0 and this B is going to this A over here with an output 0. So, this B will also have 0 as the output associated to it. Now, we have associated the outputs to the transition. Now, we have to remove the outputs that were written in the states. So, let us remove that. Okay, so now as we remove the outputs that were associated to the states and associated the outputs to the transition, so we have the Mealy machine for our question. Now let us try to design the transition table for this Mealy machine. So here we will draw the transition table. So we have states A, B, C, D where A is the starting state or the initial state and we have two inputs which are A and B and the output should be associated to the transitions. So here we would look at this diagram and we will try to fill up this table. So come to state A. A on getting input small a where does it go? It goes to B. It goes to B and what is the output associated to this small a? It is 0. So here we give a 0 and then come to small b. A on getting input small b where does it go? It goes to A itself. It goes to A itself and what is the output associated to this small b? It is 0. So, we give the output 0 to be associated to this A. Now, come to this state B. B on getting input small a, where does it go? B on getting input small a, it goes to B itself. Goes to B itself and what is the output associated to this small a? It is 0. And come to this small b. B on getting small b, where does it go? B on small b goes to state C. And what is the output associated to this small b it is 0. Now come to state c. c on input small a where does it go? c on input small a goes to b giving output 0. So it goes to b giving output 0. 
and on small b what happens? On small b c goes to state d and what is the output that it gives? Small g gives the output 1. Okay, now come to state d. d on small a, where does it go? d on small a, it goes to state b giving output 0. It goes to state b giving output 0 and on small b what happens to d? On small b, d goes to state a giving output 0. Goes to state a giving output 0. So now we have the transition table for our Mealy machine. So we were given the Moore machine that counts the occurrences of the sequence ABB in any input binary string over AB and we converted it to its equivalent Mealy machine here. We have drawn the transition diagram for that and also we have made the transition table for that. So this was another example of conversion of Moore machine to Mealy machine. We will see more examples in the coming lectures. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.